Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today we're gonna be going over my blood work. So let's get into it. Before we do get into it though, this morning was probably one of the worst mornings I've had in a really, really long time. So I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I woke up this morning with the worst sore throat ever. Like literally just trying to like swallow hurts like it just it hurts it honestly does and i have a really bad cough and i just woke up really sick this morning and what's even worse is that for some reason i don't really know why but my instagram account got deleted too so i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram too i mean i'm assuming most of the people that do follow me on instagram watch my youtube videos too and i had like 19.4 thousand followers and just like that gone gone just like that and i mean i'll be honest i did cry this morning like uh, I did shed a tear I mean not even that like I non-stop like I cried I cried like a baby because obviously I put so much time and effort into not only that but like all my social media platforms like it's pretty much like it's almost like my life like pretty much like I put a lot of like time and focus into it like pretty much 24 7 and it's just really like I'm kind of over it now but like during the time like it's kind of like it's just it's, it's gone like it's and so like obviously like I hope it's not gone forever like hopefully I can try to get it back but it's not looking really good so I mean I know I keep saying this but it's like I can't really control it like there's nothing I can do about it so instead of like trying to like cry about it and like just complain like I obviously easier said than done but I know I should like try to like do other things to like, kind of get my mind off it like filming a YouTube video so yeah that is that this morning was an absolute it's just the worst morning ever but with that said I did go to the doctor the other day to get my blood work done and as you guys know I hate needles like needles are like the scariest thing ever and so they took like quite a bit of blood out of my arm and it was just ugh, like i hate it but anyway they took a bunch of blood out of my system and then literally the next day i got my blood results back so i don't know if you guys watched the last video where i got my blood work done but honestly the numbers did not look very good and i'll be honest the numbers were a bit skewed because i pretty much went right after my competition prep and obviously after you compete um, like obviously your libido, your testosterone, everything just kind of goes down because you're not at like an optimal healthy state in terms of like your blood work and like where your body wants to be at. So I decided to get my blood work done again. This time, however, I feel like it would be a bit more, I guess, accurate because I feel completely fine now. My body fat levels are completely normal. My libido whatever feels normal too so i decided to go back again to get them checked out again and so pretty much whatever the results are now are like the accurate results because again i feel completely fine i feel normal so let's get into it so I know in my last video, I pretty much shared with you guys like my entire like blood panel, like pretty much every single thing. In today's video, however, I'm not gonna show you guys everything because I don't really think you guys care enough. So I'm basically just gonna share with you guys my testosterone levels because that is arguably one of the most important things about your blood work. I mean, obviously there's like different things too, but I feel like you guys are specifically interested in my testosterone levels. So in my last video, I'm just gonna pull up the number right now. I forget what it was exactly, but I do know it was very, very low. So my testosterone level last time I got a check which was during September ish so again the reference range is anywhere between 8.4 28.8 nanomoles per liter or something and so my score was 9.3 so literally like just above the reference range like literally just hovering above it two months later we're now in november and my testosterone is sitting at drum roll please 14.3 so as you guys can tell obviously it's not like super super high but it is definitely a good jump from where i used to be so it's like a five number jump which i'm pretty happy about obviously it's not like super super high it's still kind of low but compared to what i used to be it's gone up and i'm pretty happy with it so now you're probably wondering conan how did you manage to increase your testosterone levels naturally like that well i'm about to explain to you guys exactly how i did it in today's video so let's get into it now keep in mind guys i do think that my initial testosterone level the one that I did a couple months ago was a bit skewed and a bit off because as I said again I just came off my competition prep I was still eating very little amounts of food I was still doing cardio and stuff and so obviously that in itself causes lower testosterone and so I do feel like when I first got them tested I mean I wasn't really in like my optimal state so I did kind of expect my test to be somewhat low whereas now again I feel a lot better my body fat levels are a lot higher I'm training hard I'm not doing as much cardio I'm sleeping well my stress is low etc 
cetera, et cetera. I do feel like this is more of an accurate number. But with that said, I do feel like I did a couple things to increase my testosterone naturally. So I'm about to explain to you guys exactly what I did. Now, some of the things I'm gonna mention to you guys are pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised. Like people, including myself, neglect these things on like a day-to-day -day basis. And so by simply doing like the simple things every single day, it can definitely add up and you'll start to see huge changes. So in no particular order, the first thing I did to increase my testosterone was adding more healthy fats into my diet. So for the longest time, I used to be scared of eating fats. Like, I don't know what it was. I just feel like because fats obviously have more calories than carbs, they have nine calories per gram, whereas protein and carbs only have four calories per gram. So obviously, if you think about it, you can simply eat more food by eating carbs and fats and also by staying away from fats because again, they have more calories per gram. But honestly, fats, especially the healthy kinds, are so crucial for simply healthy hormonal functions. Like I used to neglect them so much. And so right after I got my blood work done a couple months ago, the first thing I did was I just started adding a lot more healthy fats into my diet. So I started eating like avocados, more nuts, more seeds, more fatty fish like salmon, more red meat such as ground beef. I started eating more whole eggs and I just started eating all these healthy fats. And honestly, I feel like it's made such a big difference because fats are absolutely needed for healthy hormonal functions. The second thing I did was increase my sleep and also decrease my stress. So I think the two and two kind of go hand in hand because the more stressful you are, the less you sleep. So I do really think that the less you stress, the more you sleep, the better your testosterone. Because obviously higher levels of stress or higher cortisol levels can kind of affect your sleep and having less sleep can have a negative impact on your testosterone levels. So I think it's very crucial for every single one of us to get anywhere from seven to nine hours of sleep each and every night. And I know it can be very tough for most people, especially if you have a job or you go to school or you're just studying nonstop or you have other commitments, blah, blah, blah. But I do really think that the less stressful your life is, the better your sleep is and just the better you can recover and the better your testosterone will be. So if you're not already, please be sure to get anywhere from seven to nine hours of sleep each and every night because ever since I started sleeping more and started prioritizing my sleep, I've seen such a huge difference, not only in like my energy levels throughout the day, but even my training sessions and my recovery between training sessions has just been absolutely insane. So sleep is very underrated, but do not neglect it because it is so powerful. So a couple of things that have helped me increase my sleep is number one, have like a set sleep schedule. So I know it sounds very basic, but by simply going to bed at the same time and waking up in the morning at the same time, like every single day, I kind of like let your body get used to your whole circadian rhythm and your body knows exactly when you should feel sleepy and also when your body should wake up. So try to like keep everything as consistent as you can. And on top of that, I like to wear a sleeping mask and also some of these earbuds just so I don't happen to have any like sunlight in my eyes or hear anything with these earbuds. So these two have actually helped me tremendously. And then another thing I like to do is like read a book before going to bed. So yeah, I have a bunch of books down here and just simply like reading something before bed, just a couple pages, it really kind of puts you in like a sleepy mood. So obviously you should try to stay away from electronics as well because the blue light kind of like sends a signal to your brain to stay awake because obviously you don't want to stay awake, you want to go to sleep. So try to stay away from any like electronics or computers or your phone like an hour before going to sleep. Another thing I've done to increase my testosterone is now this may sound Sound very bro sciencey. This may sound very just like bro-y, but honestly, I do think that it makes sense. And that is by doing a bunch of compound lifts. So I'm talking like squats, bench press, deadlift, overhead presses, stuff like that. Just like big compound lifts that require like a bunch of energy, and they're just basically like very like alpha movements. Like you just feel like a man when you do them. Like doing heavy deadlifts or like heavy squats. That obviously requires like a lot of just willpower and like strength and like focus and just it just makes you feel like a man and so I do believe that doing more like manly things so just like lifting heavy weights and like training hard doing compound lifts stuff like that can have a positive effect on your testosterone and now I don't know if this is scientifically proven but I do just feel like doing like the heavy compound lifts has like a strong impact on your testosterone levels as well so that's pretty much all I did there's no fancy things I did there's no magical pills or supplements I took literally just basically making sure I get enough sleep, making sure my cortisol levels are reduced, making sure I train hard and stick to the basic compound lifts and like obviously try to get stronger than each and every week, incorporating more healthy fats into my diet, just ensure my hormones are healthy as well. And then on top of that, making sure my diet is on point too, making sure that I'm in a caloric surplus and not in a deficit definitely helps as well. And then when it comes to the supplements, I actually did take this one specific supplement and now I didn't include it in the list because I don't really think it made that big of a difference. I mainly just think it's like a placebo thing but anyway I will share it with you guys and that is 
invented this right here, ashwagandha. So obviously this is supposed to help increase your resistance to stress and anxiety. So it's supposed to help reduce your cortisol levels, which I mean, honestly, maybe when I first took it a couple months ago, I kind of felt a difference, but considering now that I've taken it for almost two months now, I don't really feel that big of a difference anymore. So I honestly feel like it's more of a placebo thing more than anything, but I definitely feel like it doesn't hurt to take. So if you're wanting to try this, definitely have nothing against it. Like if you want to try it, definitely could. It's pretty popular. It's been studied quite a bit as well. So if you want to give it a try, definitely worth giving it a shot, but I don't really think it's going to make that big of a difference. So that's pretty much it guys. I know this video was a bit shorter than usual, but I definitely wanted to get this video out there because I know a lot of people haven't asked me what my results were when it comes to my testosterone and so again I'm very happy with the number I do feel like I can definitely bump it up a bit more but I won't go anytime soon like I know I gotta wait like at least like maybe six more months for me to go back again because I feel like if I go back again in like one or two months I don't really think that big of a difference will be made so I'll definitely go again but maybe in just like six months or something so I do think that getting your blood work done is very crucial just to kind of see what your numbers are looking like because like I never got my blood work done up until recently and it just really just it's good to know what your blood looks like because who knows you may have something that is lacking and you may need to supplement in something or something is just wrong with your blood and it's just really good to know so i definitely encourage you guys to get your blood work done as well see what your levels are at see what types of things you can do to help improve your blood work and just stuff like that anyway if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up i would highly appreciate it subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace out. Yeah.